I welcome you to the Canto 19 of Nandini Sahu's long narrative poem, Sita, a poem. Uh, to Julia Kristeva, uh, intertextuality is a notion which refers to the interrelatedness of many texts. Uh, she thinks that not only are the texts related, but they also inform and influence each other. Each of the texts do not exist in isolation. Rather, they belong to a larger ecosystem of texts and their meanings. Intertextuality influences meanings in any culture and society. It provides the scope for new interpretations of a text. Kristeva comments that this notion of intertextuality is not restricted to simply the texts and their relationships, but it also extends to cultural and social practices of any given society. Kristeva uses the notion of intertext to join, join in the previous literary and cultural texts, which influences the initial idea of any language and any discourse. In the process, intertext evolves not as simply a network of more than one texts, but as a dynamic and continuous process of creating new meanings, resulting in ways in which meanings can be interpreted through the production of newer texts. We have to find that in this connection, the idea of Sitaness is scattered throughout with folk retellings and many folk stories that grew from the Valmiki Ramayana as well as folk Ramayans from across the states and across the countries. Coming to the Canto 19, uh, here I am going to quote and borrow incidents from many folk Ramayana and use the ideas of new historicism and cultural materialism. The discourse of ecology and gender in this canto gives birth to the eco-feminist Sita in my text, Sita, a poem. Now, let me recite the canto 19 for you. Canto 19, Nandini Sahu's long narrative poem, Sita, a poem. Did I know then that destiny designed for me a second exile? O inheritors of light, O sacrificial fire, O virgin mother earth, is my pain quintessential? My Lord Ram was most reputed among his subjects. Every evening about the countrymen, he meticulously inquired. He had empowered his citizens of free judgment. That day, his generals Bhadra, Mangala and Kashyapa came with their daily reports of the state. From their reactions, Ram knew something was at stake. What is the matter? Why there is grim silence? I need to know the public opinion of the circumstances. I can augment beyond myself. Let it be harsh. My Lord, in the marketplaces, gardens, river banks, and seashores, people praise Ram Rajya openly and your destruction of the evil forces. But it's brutal. In the parts of a washerman whose deserted wife came home 
and was seeking justice he rejects her and says king ram had set this ideal once his wife was abducted by a rakshas who deserved her with him for one who deserved her with him for one whole year this is weird that she is accepted as his wife once more the rules of marital life need to be set by the emperor an inspired decadent and insipid decadent wife must not find a place at home but my lord don't pay any heed this is slack scandal mangal and kashyap intervened abruptly this may be the hearsay of a few chauvinistic men but mata sita is a goddess for the women this is but an irresponsible statement don't pay them attention and respect the opinion of the learned men of ayodhya the enlightened ram was shocked and shattered with this incident should he abandon sita or give self punishment unblemished pure noble sita to be derelict or leave the kingdom to bharat again and join sita go back to some hermitage life would be torment without her presence but duty came his way his kingly responsibility he cannot run away from his duty to the ichha ku clan for the sake of his wife this time once again he has to sacrifice sympathy he must reject her and the marital life forget its beauty the mother earth will take care of her because she stands for purity sita cannot share the throne with him when his people do not wish her to be there she has to leave though he himself was trampled he summoned his brothers and confided his wish this vicious attitude of people was pure foolish she has to be sent away to a hermitage far lakshman revolted against his brother elder i set the funeral pyre for mata sita as she ordered but fire god could not smolder her how can meaningless gossip drive you this far she is the immaculate woman she is purer than pure do not ask me to perform this brutal action any more i treat her as my mother and you are asking a son to desert her in the jungle without informing her pitiless and irrational in the foul and fair days of ayodhya she had the courage to bear all pain and pleasure does ayodhya lack tolerance brother you too are such unfair i had desired to revisit the hermitage but o oh ram my lord couldn't you meet me even once i was deserted by you for the thrust of pride and obligation soumitri drove the chariot most nonchalantly the ganga was flooded with water see the pathetic fallacy lakshman fell at my feet near the ganga sister in law i am but carrying out brother's order i should have died than being cruel to the one like my mother he told me the truth with downcast eyes with drops of tears o oh, ram you stand for justice to the universe 
how could you succumb to this callousness dear you left your pregnant wife with this insecure prospect if the sages and that disciplines come to know the reason for which a dignified is called names and deserted vulnerably how can i retract my pride and respect you could desert me when i was most helpless even a tiger takes care of the tigress when she is pregnant and you have no sentiment no resentment at that instant i couldn't trust lakshman no aryaputra loves and respects me a lot he cannot even imagine deserting me in this state shomitri had to leave me in the lap of mother nature 14 years of exile was endurable before my lord was by my side and there was lakshman dear i permitted lakshman to leave me alone in this fathomless gloom go back and communicate my regards to ram and queen mothers and love to my sisters and the countrymen standing solitary forlorn traumatized by sobs i saw muni balmiki and his disciples coming towards me smiling with welcome gestures